Hey, I'm Dr. William Davis, author of the Wheat Belly series of books, and of course, more recently, Super Gut, in which I talked about restoring a microbe lost by nearly everyone, Lactobacillus roteri. Recall, if you've been following this conversation, that Lactobacillus roteri is very susceptible to common antibiotics. So the amoxicillin you may have taken, say, 10, 20 years ago, eradicated this important microbe. Restoring it thereby provides a whole range, a long list of very important benefits. Now, if you restore it as a probiotic, you're going to restore it at low counts, relatively low counts. We want bigger effects that come from ingesting higher bacterial counts. So we're going to ferment it. That is, make something that looks and smells like yogurt, but is not yogurt, but it looks and smells like it. You can still enjoy it with some nuts or some seeds or some uh, squirt of stevia. So you're doing something very different. You're starting with a different microbe, Lactobacillus roteri. This is a microbe not used in conventional yogurt making. So we're starting with a very different microbe that you've lost from your gastrointestinal microbiome, more than likely. And we're going to use a fermentation method that is prolonged fermentation. We're going to add prebiotic fibers. And after 36 hours, you get far higher bacterial counts. When we perform something called flow cytometry, that's a laser assisted method of counting microbes, we get around 300 billion, 300 billion microbes per half cup serving. And so we start with, if we start with my rotori, 20 billion per capsule, we now have about 300 billion. It does vary, of course, but after repeated measurements, that's about what we get. And that's part of the reason why I believe we get these wonderful big effects. Now, there's been a fair amount of misinformation and poor advice and just how to accomplish all this. So I wanted to get this all straight. So this is how I envisioned it at first and how I have improved on the recipe and the methods over time. It's really very easy. Don't make this harder than it is. So let's start with a glass or a ceramic bowl big enough to hold at least a quart of liquid. We're going to take a source of the microbe. In this case, I'm using a product I came out with called My Roteri. And it contains 20 billion counts per cap per capsule, which is more than enough to get started. You need a minimum of 2 billion counts to assuredly get a start to your yogurt fermentation. So I'm going to take that capsule, okay? I'm going to open the capsule and just empty it into the bowl. I'm going to take a tablespoon of inulin that I got from this source here. I'm going to add it to the dry mix of the probiotic. I'm going to now add the liquid. In this case, I'm using organic half and half. You can use coconut milk, but that's going to require a few additional steps that we'll talk about another time. But right now, I'm going to use organic half and half. You can use whole milk. You can use other liquids, but I'll tell you the organic half and half yields the best and result in texture and taste. So I'm going to take a tablespoon or two and add it and make a slurry, okay? Because I don't want clumps of the microbe nor of the prebiotic fiber. So stir. You might have to break up those clumps with the spoon. When you're satisfied that all the clumps have been broken, then top it off with the rest of the organic half and half. And then stir again. Now I'm going to cover this with plastic wrap, or if it's a bowl that has its own lid, cover it. You want it to be protected from the microbes in the air, like uh, molds and fungi. So I'm going to cover it. I've now wrapped the mixture in certain plastic wrap. Now I have my sous vide setup going here. So it's a sous vide with its base plastic base. And now I find I've used a shallow bowl. So I put a little bowl upside down in the water bath. So you can see water is about, if you can't see the water, the water is to about here to allow the sous vide to run. So I'm going to take this plastic covered mixture, put it on the bowl so that a much, not all of the, uh, of the height of the bowl is covered, at least some of it's covered in the water. Then I'll activate my sous vide, cover it with the, uh, in this case, this comes with a cover like this, and it fits over the device. Like that, so it's covered, and then I'll run the sous vide for 36 hours. So in addition to the sous vide setup I have, here's how you do it with a Lavelli device. I have a batch of yogurt I previously made in there. This is a very nice device that allows you to adjust the time and also the temperature. At the end of the 36 hours of fermentation, you should have a nice firm yogurt. Now also note that the first batch sometimes likes to separate. That is you're gonna have whey, the liquid, separate from the solids, the curds. 
don't worry. That's a first, we call that the first batch effect. You make the next batch from a little of the prior batch, a tablespoon or two of the prior batch, and use that in place of the probiotic capsule. And that gives you, tends to give you a much thicker, uniform uh, end result. Now we consume a half cup per day in any of those things you want, like blueberries, strawberries, chia seeds, or whatever. And that's how we get all these big effects. This is a typical result. This is a subsequent batch. That is a batch made from a bit of the prior batch. You can see it's very rich and thick, unlike conventional store-bought yogurt, because different microbes fermented for a prolonged period to generate higher counts in the eventual end result. Now, you're likely to experience at least some, if not all, of these wonderful effects of restoring this lost microbe, lactobacillus ruderite. We'd like to hear about it. So please post in the comments on the experiences you've had. If you have difficulty, post your questions here. I invite you to join some of my conversations where we troubleshoot some of the yogurt making issues. But know that this is very easy to do and generates a very nice, tasty product you can share with your family.